here on my videos, we've had some crazy things happen on camera. And there have been several moments that we didn't include. So this was not an easy decision to make. But it seems like these videos are bigger than me now. And though I'll probably regret this, I don't think you guys will ever forgive me if I don't show you what happened after my last video. My name is Izzy Bennett, and you won't believe this. I need to speak with you. This really isn't a good time. Are you alright? I'm not, actually, and I don't think Please you can Please let me explain. This is the worst possible time you could be doing this. I'm sorry, but the last few months have been crazy. I've been hiding something from you that I shouldn't have and that I can't anymore. I need to admit something to you. Please sit. Well, this should be good. You're filming. If you've got something to say to me, you say it here and now. <clears throat> I didn't come to Collins and Collins to monitor corporate progress. I came here to see you. Okay. Two parts of me have been at war. Your odd family, your financial troubles, you're in a different world from me. People expect me to travel in certain circles, and I do respect the wishes of my family, but not today. I've been fighting against this for months now, but Lizzie Bennett, I'm in love with you. I can't believe it either, <laughs> that my heart could completely overwhelm my judgment. I hope that your judgment can be some solace in your rejection because those feelings are not mutual. Are you rejecting me? Does that surprise you? May I ask why? May I ask why you're even here in spite of your social class, the wishes of your family, and your own better judgment? That was badly put. But that's the world we live in. You can't deny it. Social classes are a real thing. People who think otherwise live in a fantasy. And that's just the beginning of a long list of reasons why I'm rejecting you. Such as? Such as? The nicest thing you've ever said about me was that I was decent enough. You act like you'd rather have a hernia repaired than be around me. You have a checklist for what makes an accomplished woman. And don't even get me started on what you did to Jane. What about Jane? You took the heart of my sister, the kindest soul on the planet, and tore it in half. And I didn't why? mean... Why did you do it, Darcy? Does causing pain to those of us of a lower social standing give you joy? No. I, I simply doubted her long-term faith in the relationship. I watched her dealings with other men. At your local bar that night Bing was away, she was being very social. That's because she's nice. And what about his own birthday, her indiscretion? Indiscretion? While he was entertaining his guests, she was engaging with another man. I saw it with my own eyes. That's a lot. It was then clear to me that her feelings for him were fleeting and that she never truly cared for him as he did for her. Are you kidding me? From that point on, I never believed that her feelings for him were any more than simply her kindness. I was protecting him. Protecting him or protecting his wealth? Did you really think Jane was dating Bing for the money? Well, it was made pretty clear to me that this would be an advantageous relationship for her. By Jane? No, but by her family. Your family. My family? Your energetic younger sister, and especially your mother. Every discussion, every moment I observed her, she would blabber about Jane and Bing and to find and consume her life. I... I... I'm sorry. I never... thought of you that way. And what about George Wickham? What about him? What imaginary act of friendship caused you to do what you did to him? You seem unnervingly interested in his concerns. He told me of his struggle. Oh, yeah, his life has been quite a struggle. You destroy his life and then make jokes about it. So this is what you think of me? Thank you for explaining it all to me so eloquently. And thank you for proving time and time again that your arrogance, pride, and selfishness make you the last man in the world I could ever fall in love with. I'm sorry to have caused you so much pain. I should have acted differently. I was unaware of your feelings towards me. You were unaware? Then why don't you watch my videos? What videos? <laughs> 